Hi everybody, Matt Marigli here to take a look at the Windows environment when you're using your new clear touch panel. So right now I'm in the Android side, so I'm going to get over to the Windows side by simply finding the clear touch logo, flipping up, and then hitting HDMI 1. Most of them will be connected to HDMI 1. You can hear that little sound, and then there is my Windows screen. Now there, I have a Windows machine off uh, the screen right here that you can't see, but this is it. And I have full mouse type capabilities with my finger. Uh, the question that I get asked most often is how do I right click when I'm using a clear touch panel. So it's a tap and it's a hold. You'll see a square and then up comes your right click menu. So if I were to hold it over something and I wanted to open it, I would hold over right click and that's how I were to right click. Um, the biggest issue besides that that teachers have with using these in the Windows environment is they don't know where the keyboard is. So normally when you're in the Android side and you're using the browser and you type into the address bar or something like that, you have a keyboard that automatically comes up, but that's not the case on the Windows side. So we need to pin a keyboard to the bottom. So I'm gonna find my uh, Windows taskbar down at the bottom. I'm gonna find an empty spot and I'm gonna click and I'm gonna hold there and up comes a lot of different Windows tools that I can add. Um, might be tough for you to see on screen, but the one that I wanna look for is the touch keyboard button. So I'm gonna click on that and it's gonna add this little keyboard down. It's tough to see all the way down in the corner here. But now when I tap on it, up comes my keyboard that I can use when I'm typing into an address bar or anything so I don't have to walk back to my computer. Another way around this is to get yourself a wireless keyboard and mouse. And when you get the wireless keyboard and mouse, um, you can actually plug it into these two USB ports that are right in the front and now you're wireless and traveling around. So that's another thing to do. So that's navigating the Windows environment, adding that keyboard, and how to switch over to it and right click. Hope this helped.